Hi, this is Tweek. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweek. In this week's episode, we're going to take a filter that comes out of a coffee pod and we're going to make something extra special. Join us! Supplies we'll need for this project are a 5x7 plastic plant pot, coffee filters from the coffee pods, glass mosaic dots, three colors of your choice. For the roof, you will use an old plate from your kitchen, a hot glue gun, and other beads of your choice to augment your design. So let's get started. Today we're going to make a toad abode. A toad abode is a plastic pot that you cut a hole into and you place it in your garden and it gives amphibians in your garden, we have a lot of toads, a place to hide or maybe get out of the heat if they need to. So we're going to make one of these today. I took a 5x7 plastic pot, garden center, $1.98, great find. And I'm going to cut a hole into it. It doesn't have to be real exact, but I'm going to use my X-Acto knife and carefully begin to carve a hole out here. I'm not even gonna write or walk it out. I'm just going to push. Okay, that took out some of it. The X-Acto knife goes very easily into this plastic. But I would still caution, caution. See, so I'm just cutting out like a little Fred Flintstone cave door. And it's taking my blades out, but I've got more. I'm going to stop right at that rim so I don't cut into the table. And I'm going to use my scissors to complete the cut. Okay, that side. I'm going to the edge, got that side. And there we have a rough cut of the door. <laughs> it already looks like a toad house, doesn't it? And our next step is an interesting one. Because this is too light to put out in the garden, it might blow away. I wanted to decorate it and give it some heft and make it just cuter for my garden. And here's what I came up with. We use pods at our house for coffee and I recycle these. So I take off that protective top. I use the grounds in my garden. And then there's a liner inside that it pulled out and inside of that was these little plastic discs. It's some kind of a filter in the pod. I saved up these discs with the thought that someday I'll find a project to use them and I found that project. It's my toad abode. I had to save up a lot. I need at least 80 of these little discs to cover the surface of my toad abode. I'm just gonna dump some out here and I'm gonna take them and I'm just gonna start going with a curved side down. And I'm just gonna start gluing all the way around, all the way around till I get up to the top. And then we'll augment it some more. So here we go. A bunch of these little filters and a nice ready standby glue gun. And away we go. I'm leaving just a little bit of edge around the door. This isn't too very exacting. I'm just going to work my way around the pot. All right, so I've got the last one affixed here. And I'm going to measure to see if I can get a little bit more there. Or I'll just leave that space and I'll fill it in with some other beads that I've got. I'm thinking that's what I'll do. So it doesn't have to be exacting. And there we have so far, we went all the way around. Now what we're going to do is do this again and keep repeating the pattern. We start between the two and go all the way around again. So I'm going to keep placing the discs between the two in front of them. And I'm going to go all the way around the pod. Here we go. When I first took apart one of the little pod, coffee pods to recycle the plastic in it, I found these little discs. Oh, I'm thinking that is, what could that be? I was thinking maybe an eyeball for one of my puppets. I just, I just didn't know. I thought maybe something with beads. And then I saw a toad hole or house for toads. And I thought that would be very cute. So our toad abode is going to be decorated with these. You see the effect that's starting to happen. Here 
here's what we have so far. We've glued all these little discs. I've got extras, which is good. So I have probably around 80 little discs on this size pot. Now you could continue and go around the top of the pot, which might actually be kind of cute. And what I was thinking of doing is just putting a protective plate above the top. So I think I'll continue doing that. It's a little bit haphazard, but that's okay because we're going to, there's a couple of gaps. We're gonna fill this in now with mosaic dots. I've got three colors. blue, green, and a light blue. So I'm going to start by going around the bottom and any little gaps I can add a piece if I want to. But right now I'm going to start right on the bottom and go around with my colors and fill up every little circle with a piece of mosaic glass. Here we go. And a big clump, clump of glue and a dot. You can do this pattern in however you like, using whatever color of tiles you'd like, or little dots. I'm starting with the dark blue, then I'm going to the light blue, and then the green. <laughs> this is a fun, fun project. You could use buttons, old buttons, any kind of bead that you'd like. I like these mosaic dots because they're flat on one side, which makes gluing very easy. <laughs> I've got these for $1.99 a bag. All right, we've got our last color here. Meeting up with the light blue. And we'll see what we think so far. Boy, this thing has gotten heavier. <laughs> it will not blow away in the garden. All right, this is where we're so far. That is gonna be pretty in the garden. I like it already. Now I'm going to augment the lid. The lid's going to be a corral dish that we are sacrificing from the kitchen. So that will be the roof. And before I put that on, I'm going to augment around the door and any place where I see a gap that I want to fill in, I'll use some beads that I thought were complementary to our theme here. Well, teardrop shell beads. So I'm going to just actually very willy-nilly just glue them around the edge of the door. I'll see what fits. There are different sizes here. And that's how I'm going to decorate the door of the Toad House. So the Toads will be so pleased, won't they? So here we go. So I've got six of these little shell beads left, and I'm going to fix one in the front, and I'm going to put on the roof and use those to make a flower pattern. So let's really glob a lot of glue here. I'm starting to melt the plastic, and I'm going to place that one there. I'm thinking I like the way the front looks. Oh. Any toad would be proud to live here, huh? And let me show you the entrance to the toad abode. It's right there. Mysterious. Toad abode. The roof. I'm going to put a roof on here. This pot has holes in the bottom. And those holes would drain. I'm thinking that might make a little bit of airflow. Who knows? But I want to protect it a little bit. And I'll put this, sacrifice this corral dish to become the roof. And then I'm going to decorate a little bit on the top. 
That makes a fine roof. And I'm just gonna lay down a bunch of glue and let it stick. So here we go. I'm gonna go around the edge with a little more glue. Glue down in there. Okay, it's down. Good. That'll protect it a little bit. It makes the pot look very cute. You just got a roof. A roof. Now I want to get rid of the corral markings up top. Okay, and I'm gonna use these guys here. Make a floral pattern. It matches his house very nicely. Think of it as decorative shell shingles. So let me attach those. It's a toad abode ready to put out in my garden. It's heavy, so it won't blow away unless you get a very stiff wind and it'll protect any little amphibian. We've got a lot of toads and they'll be moving in, I'm sure. If you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you know when the next episode is coming up. Until then, protect your toads. They are beneficials in the garden and I can't wait to see them use our toad abode. See you again. Thank <laughs> you.